So this has to be the most underrated and gorgeous hike in the Fraser Valley. This is Bear Mountain at Harrison Hot Springs. We actually did this hike about a couple months ago, earlier in the year. It was the first nice day of the year. We drove out to Harrison Hot Springs. It's about two hours east of Vancouver. It is so quiet out here. A super nice drive and when we got here we didn't see anyone in the parking lot. Well, I don't know if it's a really a parking lot. Right now, there's only one other person here. And you know what? We hiked up here. We went past this abandoned mine. There was abandoned cars on the road. That is so cool. It's like an old 1950s car. We kept hiking further up. Waterfall right off the, the hiking trail. And we kept going. And then we started hitting snow. This was probably back in mid-March and we kept trekking through it. Uh, it was pretty dangerous. We were in running shoes. We were unprepared for the snow. Uh, you take the wrong step and you could fall one feet, two feet down. So ultimately we never made it up to the top, which was kind of a disappointment, but today we're gonna do it again. We're gonna see the views at the top. I think they're gonna be absolutely gorgeous. The pictures on the internet made it look amazing up there. And uh, yeah, I think we're super excited to do this. Like I said, there's no other cars here in the parking lot. So I don't think anyone ever goes here. Anybody really knows about it yet. And I'm going to show you it. So this is the trail guide and review of Bear Mountain at Harrison Hot Springs. Okay, so this easily has to be one of the most secluded hiking trails I've ever been on that's within driving distance from Vancouver, Canada. Midsummer on the weekend and we ended up only running into one other hiking group, which is insane. The hike begins five, 10 minutes past the resort town of Harrison Hot Springs, British Columbia. Definitely wouldn't recommend going in there, but that's where the mining happened. Uh, yeah, so if you pass by here, you'll know you're on the right track of the trail. So there's no real parking lot or signs for this hike, but if you pass by this abandoned mine, you'll know you're on the right path. It has a bit of a nostalgic and creepy feel to it. There's equipment just laying around, old mining buildings abandoned, and it sort of feels like you went back in time just briefly. Pass the mine, keep to your far right, and start hiking. There's no signs in the area for this hike, so there's a few areas you can get lost. Keep to your far right when you're at the abandoned mine. From there, just keep hiking. I assume this is an old logging road that's become overgrown. I could totally imagine cars driving up here 50 years ago. And to prove my point, you'll actually see a few abandoned cars just off the trail. It actually gave the hike a lot of character. And it was fun imagining people actually driving up here way back in the day. When we first did this hike back in March, we passed by quite a few creeks. Unfortunately, now that it's midsummer, the majority of them have dried up, but I'm glad to say this was still there. Okay, so we're about 45 minutes in and we're about to hit the waterfall. Check this out, just right off the trail here. This is pretty neat. Literally right beside the walking trail, you'll find this waterfall. Back in spring, this looked magnificent and it was a pleasure to see it still running strong all year round. Woo, we're one hour in and we got this uh, slightly sketchy bridge here. It still looks walkable, but uh, be careful. Ah, you know what? That bridge is pretty safe. Nothing to worry about there. On we go. Now, this is a fairly decent hike. Round trip, it's about 20 kilometers. And online, I heard it's one of the hardest hikes near Harrison Hot Springs. I even read online people comparing it to hiking Garibaldi Lake because of its switchbacks, but I found it much less grueling than the Garibaldi Lake hike. And maybe it's because it's a new hike for myself, but I actually found it more interesting when hiking up. And with the occasional views of Harrison Lake, it definitely keeps you motivated to get to the top viewpoint. So yeah, we're still two hours in. Check that out. You're getting some awesome views of Harrison Hot Springs here. The lake just down there, pretty awesome.
Man, that lake is turquoise. All right, off we go. I think the scariest thing about this hike is it's so isolated. So be prepared for a lot of wildlife in the area. There was a few points on the trail where it's really overgrown. So we were definitely making a lot of noise to scare any unwanted attention. I'm not sure if you can see it, but there are so many mosquitoes around here. You're definitely gonna wanna bring some bug spray if you're coming out here. We're gonna stop for a little snack break. Uh, we're getting a little beat. I don't know if it's a heat or what, but uh, yeah, let's see what we got here. We have some, uh, what are these? Some uh, Filipino potato chips, I guess. I think we've had them before. Very cheesy. <laughs> So we actually never noticed these signs until just now. They are super faded. If you get really close, you can see which way they're pointing. I have no idea if they're pointing us in the right direction or not. We're just going to follow them, see where they end up. And yeah, let's keep going, I guess. All right, this is future Doug. This is the only spot where I thought we might have messed up. It hits this Y shape here. And you can either go this way or this way. See the one with the tree right there off to the right? That's technically the right here. Or you can go this way off to the left. Go this way off to the left. This will get you to your viewpoint. We never ended up going off to the right, but looking it up online after the fact, and apparently it should take you to Bear Lake. From reading about it online, it's nothing special. Lots of bugs, possibly leeches in the small lake or pond. So I don't think we missed out on anything special here. The trail to the left went down a bit of a ways, but you definitely feel like you're walking along the top of Bear Mountain. We pass by a swamp, and eventually the hike leads you into the forest. Well, deeper into the forest. And what looks like to be off the trail. I was a little concerned we were going on the wrong direction, because it felt like we were suddenly hiking in the opposite direction, but... All right, so we're three and a half hours in. We made it to the top here. This is absolutely gorgeous. We got like a 360 view. Check it out, woo! Yeah, I'll show you some videos from up here. Cheers! You know what, that last hour, we weren't 100% sure we were on the right path. But you know what, we got a burrito, we got a viewpoint, we did not, we only see one other person on the trail. Nobody's up here. Awesome little secret spy here. Yeah, I think we're just gonna enjoy this view and hang out for a little bit.